Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. If you have completed data on 30 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward. The item finder. Uh, yeah, I have 30 kinds. So, thank you. We have 41. Item finder isn't really that great. I mean, it helps you find hidden items, but I tend to not want to bother putting it on. But I guess since I was here anyway, I might as well grab it. Route 11, Route 12. We need to go down a bit more. This is Route 13, and we haven't had an encounter on Route 13 yet. There is that grass there as well. And I guess you, a bird keeper. Yes, you are an actual bird keeper. Alright, well let's get rid of you first then. And then uh, we'll get our encounter on Route 13. Which, counting out dupes, should only be one possibility. A Pijoto. Give me that sweet, delicious bird experience. Gust, yeah, doesn't really do too much. Oh, he did survive one hit, but somehow we outsped him. What? Jodo, you should be ashamed of yourself getting outsped by a Snorlax. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, we are Route 12, Route 13. Okay, oh, dang it. I found Carbos in a cave once while I was spelunking. Well, great for you. I wanted to go fish. You were interrupting me. Goldine, that, that's great and all. I don't really... care about dealing with things like this right now. I need to train anyway for the next gym, but still. I wanted to make sure I had my Krabby caught first. Yes, spoilers, we're... Krabby is like our only option here on this route. Oh well, at least we're getting closer to a Gyarados. It's gonna take six more levels. Rain dance, huh? All right. I see how you want to play things. Three times. Well, I'm only gonna need to hit twice. See, there we go, twice. And you're done for. And you have a horsey as well. Gyarados should be helpful for the upcoming gym though, so that, that's gonna be good. Because I'm pretty sure it gets bite or crunch. Hopefully crunch. But it should at least get bite. Um, it won't be weak to psychic attacks. So yeah, I, th I think that could be uh, could be a pretty good option. It'll intimidate them, which doesn't really matter. But... Yeah, we have to keep him around anyway for now, so... Might as well make good use of him. Oh, he finally learns Tackle. About time. 
Okay. So, I just need to fish for a while now until I reel in a Pokemon that I can actually use. And it's not you, Horsey, so... We're probably gonna be here a little while. Well, not all that long, actually. Level 6 Krabby. Wow, level 6? That is real low. Alright. I guess you're gonna become the new underdog. I mean, like, not that you'll replace it now, but... If we, at some point, have to get a new underdog, it would be you. I'm actually gonna throw a Pokeball, because you would look nice in a Pokeball. Red at the top, white at the bottom. Yeah. That works. So let's see. It can be found near the sea. The large pincers grow back if they're torn out of their sockets. That sounds really painful. Let's give you a nickname. And your name will be Pyramid. Is that like a pun on Pyramid? Or is that like a reference to that Xenoblade Chronicles 2 character? But that's with a Y, isn't it? Instead of an I. Uh, anyway, that's her Krabby. Back to Bill's PC. And now to check you out and then catch our last Pokemon. For now, anyway. We have a few more encounters coming up, but the last one we can access at this moment. Well, you're level 6, of course. You're sassy. Sassy mate with shell armor. Pretty good ability. You have bubble and leer. Well, I don't see myself wanting to train up a level 6. Um, but you are definitely the lowest level Pokemon I have. So if we get an underdog... It's not gonna go to Rattata anymore. It's gonna go to you. But, uh, yeah. I'd rather not have to. And now for our last one, back to Fuchsia City, but we're gonna drop down to Route 19 here. And I'm gonna go ahead and surf. Took out, uh, Flea just for that. Because the only surfing encounter we can get is a Tentacle. It's gonna be level 7, just barely one level higher than the Krabby we just caught. So you're gonna miss out on being the underdog if we were to get that again. Not sure if you mind that though. I think... I think I've used the tentacle more often than Krabby, so I'm okay with using a Krabby instead if I have to. Um, I'll just try again. I have a few Pokeballs, and I'm probably not going to use them for the remainder of the game. So, I don't mind if I waste a few. I could just catch you in a Great Ball. I have way too many Ultra Balls as well. There's not that many encounters left. But there we go, we have Tentacle now. Its eyes are as transparent as crystals. From them, it shoots mysterious beams of light. Pretty cool bio. Let's give you a nickname. And talking about cool, your nickname is too. Goliath. I like that. That is very big and badass sounding. So yeah, we'll add you. And then I, I guess we have one encounter left on like Route 14. Wait, have we done Route 14? Where did we catch Fenonet? Route 15. So yeah, we haven't done 14 yet. Um, so we can do 14 still. Uh, your mild nature, clear body, with poison sting and supersonic. Yeah, you're, you're not really gonna make the team anytime soon. Now what I need to do is train train for quite a while because I gotta get people up to level 40 
And that's gonna take a while. I guess if I wanted to, I could get the Hitmonlee and Saffron City. Once I feel ready to take that on. As a sixth party member. I don't really want to use Mr. Walrus or Slash because I already have a Pidgey. Kukuriko, nah. Kalzone would be double with my other one. Abbott would be absolutely pointless for the upcoming gym. Omar, nah. Hmm. Kumatora wouldn't be a bad shout. Being psychic, you would resist their moves. So maybe that that that's an option actually. Thunderlip nah, you know what, actually. I think I'm gonna go for Lucas. Modest Dragonite. I think that might be cool. If I look at everyone here, you speak the most to me. So let's do it. It's gonna be a bit of a harsher grind because, well Dratini training up a Dratini is is rough. But yeah, we have these three that are pretty weak right now that need to grow a significant amount. Uh, and then these three who are close to there, you know, but yeah, this this will definitely take a while, but we have plenty of trainers that we can beat. And then in general, just a lot of other grinding to do. So I'll see you guys in uh, a while, realistically, but hey, some things just have to be done. And that means I'm gonna go to Route 15 and battle some trainers I have yet to battle. Starting with you. Bird Keeper Edwin. We have a full team of birds. And I'm gonna ram my head against. Oh, you lived but flinched. Cleverly use quick attack knowing you wouldn't. Well, no, you would actually get to move otherwise. Probably. Possibly. Potentially. Farfetch can possibly have pursuit, so I'm not gonna risk that, actually. Knockoff. That's interesting. I was afraid for a pursuit, though. Did not want to risk running into that. Dodo definitely can have pursuit, so no way am I sending out someone else. It's a bit of a shame, though, because I can't do switch grinding if you keep having these Pokemon that pose a threat with a potential pursuit. Pidgey. Okay, Pidgey is safe. Or should be. I want to try and get Gyarados first, so that Gyarados can start helping out in these fights. Because I feel like even a Dragonair or a Pidgeotto, eh, they would still be underleveled and wouldn't really help out that much. Plus, I think those take a little bit longer to reach than uh, Gyarados. But yeah, that's tragic that you lost, but I don't really care. I guess you are next. So many bird keepers. So many bird keepers. The Dodrio. And that's kind of the issue with the bird keepers is that They have a lot of Pokemon that can potentially learn Pursuit that you just don't want to risk switch grinding against. Oh no, that's not good. Yeah, the burn. Oh god. I have to heal you. But is that even gonna be enough? Don't really have anyone I can switch into that reliably. Okay, he didn't use Pursuit. I had to really hope he wasn't gonna go for Pursuit there. Okay, good job, Costello. 
making me proud here. And a Doduo is gonna come out. I think we can take out a Doduo with Costello. We really need a better fire move on you though. I mean, it's nice to get the burn, but... And you paralyze me. It's a bit frustrating. We can't move. The burn will take two turns to kill you, I think. The okay, next turn you should die. Yeah, there's the pursuit. We're paralyzed again. No, it took yet another turn. Now we hit, when it doesn't even matter anymore. In fact, it would have been better if we didn't hit there, because that would have saved us some PP. Now you gotta be careful because your fury attack gets a crit. And we're left with barely any a HP. Dang it, and I can't risk switching. What is with these annoying Doduo? They are the bane of my existence. Right? Wow, that did so much damage too. We just have to heal again. And you get another crit. Come on, Doduo, please. I don't think you have a flying type move. You are gonna go for pursuit, of course. But I figured we had enough help to tank that. Um, I'm gonna go for poison powder. I'm just gonna kill you with poison. Because I know my other attacks won't do much, but I'm pretty confident you at least don't have a flying type move. Because I know you have pursuit, try attack, rage. So maybe you have like peck or something, but I feel somewhat safe with that knowledge or with the bet that you don't. You're going for rage. Okay, so we should be able to see this battle out. But yeah, birds like this keep causing me issues. Oh yeah, Pursuit. Wait, I said that already, didn't I? Pursuit, Rage, Try Attack, yeah. I don't know what your fourth move is. But missing now gets a level from that, that's good. But I gotta go back and heal now, because jeez, look at that. That's just not fun, dude. Not fun. Alright, and now on Route 14, I can actually get an encounter here if I get through all of these bikers. I don't know what they have. I'm guessing coughing and stuff. But yeah, they enjoy the wide open spaces, they say, on a path that's three tiles wide. Coughing. That's what I figured. So I should be able to do decently well against these things. Oh, really? It's not a two-hit KO? That's always the worst when they live with like one HP. There we go. We're up to level 32. A muck. Yeah. I'm gonna give some uh, switch grind experience although you're very likely gonna just minimize an acid armor spam like most of you now you went with screech 
double screech. That's really actually not fun to see. Triple screech. He went for the triple screech. If he had hurt, hit us, that would have actually hurt. But luckily, he never got around to that now. Okay, so we have a few of these trainers we have to beat. Yeah, let's do a Pokemon battle. But then there should be some grass up here that we can then get another encounter. We've been catching a lot of stuff lately, but... I guess that's just this point of the game where you have a lot of routes opening up to you. And with Surf and the Rod, or, well, the good Rod and Super Rod, that you kind of get pretty next to each other. You suddenly get a lot of fishing options opened up to you as well, rather than just Magikarp. Right, I love Lewis 16. I will switch, even if it's just to get rid of the accuracy lowering. I mean, we still hit just fine, but it never hurts to uh, have your best accuracy. And you're going for the Screech tactic too. Oh, we're starting to run low on Headbutt PP. That's actually not great. We can probably beat one more guy. Oh, and we need a cut for that push anyway. Well, we kind of wasted a little bit of time here then. And you have three Pokemon. That might actually be a little bit troublesome then. Because I'm not sure that I have enough headbutt PP to get through you. Yeah, I have five, so... If these are all two hit KOs, which they should be... Oh god, or you can just poison us. Well, I'll get rid of you. Another Grimer. I will switch Grind, but probably into someone else than Fittage right now. Maybe Costello. Starting with the Screech. Not a fan of you doing Screech. Oh, nice crit. Ah, uh, to minimize. That gives me bad flashbacks. But luckily, Costello doesn't care. Level 17 now. And a coughing. There's the scary thing, though. Coughing can self-destruct. So I think what I'll do, so I'll go to Fittage, I'm going for the Smog, it's going to hurt a little bit, but not too bad. We have 50 health left, but I'm going to rest. There we go, we cure the poison, get back to full health, and then we can just snore to damage you. And you can't poison us while we're asleep. You do get a crit, but that's okay. Oh, we get a crit too. Don't think I necessarily needed that crit, but you know what? I'll take it. And there we go. You're down too.
Ah, uh, yeah, we need cuts. Okay, well... I can forget it again, because the move deleter is available now. Who can even learn it? You, but I can't reteach any of your moves. I don't really care about Growl. So I'll forget about Growl after this. And we'll learn cut. Okay. Because that will allow us... To cut this bush. And then we can get our encounter here. Which is gonna be a ditto. Yep, ditto is our only option here. So, uh... I thought it would still be fun to catch. Oh, it has limber! So it can't paralyze you. Well, at least I know what moves you're gonna have. I'll mega punch you once. You should live that. Yeah, you do. Oh, you're gonna Giga Drain too. I should have actually done something else. What would have been smart to do is to start the fight with my Magic Arp or something. Because then it could pretty much do nothing. I'm just gonna try an Ultra Ball. There we go. That saves us any hassle of having to deal with this. It can freely recombine its own cellular structure to transform into other life forms. Ditto. And what an absolutely fitting nickname. Facade from Mother 3 is also a pile of slime. Essentially. Yeah, I think that fits very, very nicely. Now, let's go ahead and check you out and also get rid of Cut on uh, Costello again. I think that's in this town too, or is it move the leader somewhere else? Eh, I'll look it up and then I'll get rid of that. So, level 23 of course, Calm Nature. You have Limber which prevents paralysis, which we knew. And you'll only know Transform. Don't think I'll use Ditto. Never really used the ditto, but don't see myself changing that up now. But hey, never hurts to have a backup just in case you need it, I'd say. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm the move deleter. Please do. I, I really just don't want cut. There we go. And does that actually reorder your moves as well? It does, but that's fine. Um, that's just an unintended side effect. Anyway, now we just need to grind for a while. So I'm gonna beat those trainers. I'll maybe put in exciting moments, um, but it's mostly just gonna be switch grinding. So there probably won't be any except for evolutions. Um, and then I will see you guys next time around when we hopefully actually take on Saffron City Gym, I hope. Because this has taken a little bit longer in between than I thought it would. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you all next time.